10 Best Places to Visit in Portugal Portugal, one of the oldest nations in Europe, is home to spectacular landscapes, breathtaking beaches, intriguing museums, and delectable cuisine. But it also contains some unexpected features, including a chapel fashioned out of human skeletons, a hamlet made of stones, and natural springs. Here are some of the top locations to visit if you find yourself in this dynamic nation. 1. Lisbon Portugal's capital and biggest city, which stretches along the banks of the Tagus River close to the Atlantic Ocean, winds upward among seven steep hills, creating an enchanting destination with warm weather, alluring alleys, charming shops, gothic cathedrals, impressive bridges, and colorful neighborhoods that vibrate with traditional fadu music. Lisbon, one of the oldest cities in the world, is known for its vibrant bare rose. Belém, one of Portugal's most well-known tourist destinations, is among the most well-liked of these neighborhoods. It is known for its royal palaces, gardens, and historical relics like the Jerónimos Monastery. Alfama, a former Moorish neighborhood that is notable for its maze of cobblestone alleyways, rustic architecture. St. George's Castle and Fadu Cafés and Taverns is the city's oldest neighborhood. 2. Viana do Castelo Viana do Castelo is a city in the north of Portugal, close to the Atlantic Ocean, and is situated in a picturesque area near the mouth of the Lima River. The tiny city is a well-liked rest station along the Portuguese Way and is home to fascinating and magnificent historical and cultural attractions. There are many historic churches throughout the town, including a stunning Gothic-style cathedral, as it has long been a significant pilgrimage destination. A few modest museums, as well as lovely palaces and manor residences, may be found in the city's well-preserved medieval center. The stunning Basilica of Santa Luzia, which was based on Sacre Cœur in Paris, dominates the area from its prominent hilltop location. 3. Algarve the Algarve is one of Portugal's tourist hotspots due to its sunny Mediterranean climate, stunning beaches, charming villages, flower-covered hills, historic attractions, delicious cuisine, and reasonably priced accommodations. The Algarve, which is in the southernmost part of the country, is a visual feast, with everything from serene olive fields, charming whitewashed villages, and exquisite houses to a wild, windswept shoreline with towering cliffs scattered with summer resorts. Both thriving cities and sleepy settlements may be found in the Algarve, where one can enjoy the charms of cobblestone streets, ancient buildings, and stunning old churches. The region's capital is Faro, and Lagos is where all the action happens at night. Silves, which is surrounded by orange trees, is noted for its red sandstone castle, while Tavira is a classy town with many Renaissance buildings, bridges, and castles. 4. Avora one of Portugal's most alluring cities is Evora, which is located deep within the Alentejo. Evora needs a thorough and leisurely examination because of the incredible collection of well-preserved monuments it is known for. The remarkable Templo Romano, built around the 2nd century, the gloomy but captivating Say, built in the 12th century, and the Igreja de São Francisco, with its ominous Capella dos Osos, completed in the mid-1550s, are just a few of the historical landmarks contained within its medieval walls. Avora has earned the coveted UNESCO World Heritage Site designation thanks to the historical significance of the city and the pristine state of its architectural marvels. But you'll also fall in love with the city's charming market town atmosphere and down-to-earth character. It's fun to roam and shop in its Moorish alleys, peruse interesting museums, and have lunch in charming squares where you're treated more like a guest than a visitor. 5. Sintra One of the jewels in Portugal's glistening touring crown is the magnificent Sintra. This ancient and alluring town, acknowledged by UNESCO for its exceptional cultural landscape, is surely worth setting aside a full day to explore. One of the most well-liked day trips from Lisbon is this one. The Palacio Nacional, a landmark building with its distinctive twin chimneys standing above a lovely square lined with houses painted in a color of pastel pink. An ochre with splashes of yellow dominates the town, which is huddled beneath the lip of the forested Serra de Sintra Hills. The historic Castelo dos Muros, which appears to have been sculpted out of the granite precipice it runs along, looks down over this picture postcard landscape. 
The alluring Palacio de Pena, a summer residence for the Portuguese royal family in the 19th century, sits atop the highest hill. For those who enjoy hiking, Sintra has a variety of trails to choose from, but you'll need strong legs to climb the challenging hills that surround the town. Awe-inspiring vistas of the distant city of Cascais may be seen from the highest points of the Serra. 6. Porto Porto spreads out alongside a significant river and has its own historic, vibrant urban landscape. If you adore Azulejo tiles, you'll love exploring Sao Bento Station's walls, which are covered in these exquisite ceramics to the point of infinity. A long weekend offers more than enough time to stroll through Porto's gardens, ancient palaces, and cathedrals before thinking about dinner, which is one of the city's pleasures. The country's food is regarded as the best in the world, and even the basic Francis Sinha, a ham and cheese sandwich baked in the oven, is delectable. Porto, which is popular not just for its renowned port, serves as a gateway to the Douro Valley, whose vines spread out in braided stretches to the horizon and beyond. 7. Aveiro The charming city of Aveiro, which is frequently referred to as the Venice of Portugal, is well known for its exquisite canals, nouveau architecture, and vibrant gondolas. This traditional fishing neighborhood is home to various religious structures and is situated on the edge of the enormous Ria de Aveiro Lagoon. These include the Aveiro Cathedral with its distinctive bell tower and the Convento de Jesus from the 15th century, with its opulent marble tomb. The best way to see the town and the Sojacinto Nature Reserve on the salt marshes is to take a trip on one of the traditional seaweed-gathering molasseros. Aveiro salt, frequently referred to as a white gold, is renowned for its superior quality and flavor. It has long been used to preserve fish, a crucial component of Portuguese cuisine. Visit the bustling fish market and the canal's pastel-colored Art Nouveau homes while you're there. 8. Monsanto The settlement of Monsanto, located in Beira Baixa, is perched on the rocky summit of Mons Sanctison and is reminiscent of a scene from The Lord of the Rings. It is renowned for its enormous granite boulders, which have been utilized in houses dating back to 1174 as roofing, walls, and even floors. The village, which is unique in that it is a living museum, has not changed much throughout the years. The Casa de Uma Sotelha, popularly known as the house with only one tile, is located in the village and has a roof made completely of a single granite boulder. Visitors may see locals utilizing ragdolls or square Moorish tambourines to chant, while taking in the spectacular 360-degree panorama of the surrounding landscape. Donkeys may often be seen hauling people up the winding cobblestone streets. 9. Panitagirs National Park The sole national park in Portugal is Panitagirs, which is located in the northwest of the nation near the Spanish border. It was founded in 1971 and safeguards numerous settlements located in picturesque and remote areas as well as valuable landscapes and ecosystems. The park covers a huge area and is home to a variety of landscapes, including broad valleys, lush woods, rolling slopes, and swift rivers. Numerous animal and plant species can be found within its mountainous boundaries. Around its peaks and plateaus are numerous top-notch hiking trails and camping areas. More than a hundred granite settlements that have a classic appearance and feel and are surrounded by breathtaking nature can be found in Panita Gears. Since the little communities have existed for many years, the park not only protects the tranquil and attractive surroundings, but also their traditional way of life. 10. Gamares Gamares, located in the country's north close to Braga, has one of Portugal's most stunning and well-preserved old centers. The city is frequently referred to as the birthplace of Portugal, because it was here that Afonso Henriques, the country's first king, was born. The beautiful castle from the 10th century and the Grand Dukes of Braganza Palace are Gamara's two primary draws. They are exciting to explore, have beautiful architecture, and provide an essential window into the city's rich heritage. Beautiful plazas, charming ancient buildings, monuments, museums, and art galleries can be found throughout its gorgeous medieval core, which is also a joy to stroll around. Despite its long history, the city nevertheless maintains a lively, youthful vibe because of its high student population. Its streets are lined with a variety of vivacious cafes and pubs. 
Countless visitors to Gamares climbed to the summit of the adjacent Penha Mountain to take in the breathtaking views of the city.